This video shows you how to recover from an incorrect firmware update. This is basically the ability to reset the controller to accept a firmware update. So let's pretend that you go ahead and you click update. The controller goes into update the firmware mode and what we're going to do is we're going to close this window which you should not normally do. That means that the controller is now stuck. So we're going to power it off, power it back on again, and you'll see that it's stuck in update the firmware. So what we'll do is go ahead and bring up a browser here and we're going to go to 192, the IP address of the controller and you can see that it's here. We're going to click the back button. It's going to restart the controller. See the controller restarting? Now what we're going to do is just go to the main page here you can see that it's uh, now able to do that so we're gonna go update you can see it's going into update this time we will actually go through the entire update of the firmware process so this is simply counting down it's waiting for the controller to restart it does not necessarily know that the controller has restarted already okay and then what's going to happen here is it is going to then prompt us with the same screen we just saw a moment ago allowing us to pick the firmware we're going to choose the file pro choose the appropriate firmware in this case alpha pick 16 and we're going to say update you're going to see it updating down here at the bottom and it's going to update the firmware and it's going to reboot the controller once it's done You'll then confirm on the screen that the firmware is what you expect and the kernel is actually already up so you can just go here and see that it's working. So this is how you fix an invalid firmware update.